Okay, uh, so prostatitis is a medical condition which affects men of all ages. Now, but the, uh, the people at high risk are older men in their 60s and uh, young men in their 20s. Middle-aged men are not at high risk. So if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and tell us uh, what you think about this video in, your, in the comment sections. Also, if you are suffering from this condition, you can tell us uh, how you are progressing with your medication. And of course, we wish you quick recovery. Now, prostatitis is a disorder of the prostate gland and is associated with uh, inflammation of the prostate gland. Now, the prostate gland is a small walnut shaped gland that is located and, and um, below the bladder and in front of the rectum. Um, prostate gland is surrounded by nerve cells and also muscles. Now, the urethra passes through the prostate gland. Now, you know, uh, urethra has got two main functions to pass urine and um, sperms. So any problem with the prostate will lead to problems with the urine, uh, with the urine uh, passage and as well as sperm passage. Now, let us see uh, four different types of prostatitis. The first one is uh, called chronic prostatitis, CP, also known as chronic pelvic pain syndrome. Now, uh, the cause of this type of, of uh, prostatitis is not very clear, but it can be caused by bladder infection, STIs, or a problem with the urinary tract infection. Um, type two, number two, is called uh, chronic bacterial prostatitis, CBP. And this particular one is caused by a bacterial infection. Also uh, cases of a uh, recurring UTI infection and as well as STIs. Number three is uh, acute or sudden bacterial in uh, bacterial prostatitis and it is also as a result of bacterial infection uh, cases of uh, uti uh, or as well as infected urine so if an infected urine uh, flows backwards to the prostate then the bacteria from the urine will find its way to the prostate gland and this can infect uh, prostate and cause prostatitis as well. So uh, the last type of uh, prostatitis is uh, non-bacterial prostatitis. And this one is not caused by bacteria, but it is caused, uh, it is uh, due to the inflammation of the prostate gland. Now the inflammation, now the inflammation, the inflammation can be caused by a previous surgery on the prostate gland or an injury or irritation to the nerves or muscles around the prostate. It can also be caused as a, a, a result of a UTI infection that happened in the past, which can come back to cause um, the inflammation of the prostate gland. So uh, some of the symptoms of this condition include one, trouble passing urine, sometimes with pain, uh, burning sensation when you're urinating. So when you feel some kind of burning sensation when you urinate. Um, and uh, number two is uh, trouble or problems with the ejaculation. So when you feel pain during ejaculation, then it's a symptom that you have this kind of disorder when you feel pain uh, in the bladder, in the testicles, in the penis, or if you in the urethra, and if you feel pain between the anus and the sex organs. So maybe you always feel some little pain in the penis, in, 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 the, in the bladder, I mean in, in the bladder, in the urethra, in the testicles, then it's a, it's a sign, it's a warning sign that you might have problems with your prostate gland. Also, um, some some people also present signs, um, symptoms in the in the in the pelvic areas. So, 
uh, when you feel uh, some sharp pain, sharp pain in the lower left abdomen. Now the pain might progress towards the back, towards the back, this persistent. Now this one also is a, a sign that you could have the prostate, the prostate now, uh, now other signs could include um, nausea, uh, fever, chills, uh, or muscle pain. Muscle pain all over the body, it just sparks like sparks and disappears uh, in your fingers and everywhere all over the body just sparks. Now if you have these signs then it is good to see your doctor and explain to them. Now, uh, if for the in the case of bacteria uh, causes of prostatitis, if you go to see a doctor, they will do uh, tests, and now several tests will be done to identify exact cause of your condition. Now, uh, bacteria can be found in the in the urine, so they can do a urine test, urine toxicology, or or urinalysis, or they can be found in the blood. In which case, they will do a complete blood count test, uh, CBC. Or they can also be found in the in the, in the prostate fluid, so they can do a prostate massage to uh, to in in order to get the prostate uh, fluid and test on that. Test on that, get it. Now, for a uh, a better cure for this in for this condition, the the urologist or your doctor must do uh, several tests in order to identify the exact cause of your condition. Otherwise, it will be hard to treat you. And uh, because for this condition, you also need to be on drugs for longer, for long period, like three, four to six weeks on antibiotics. In our next video, we will tell you, um, uh, we will tell you the natural ways, uh, on the natural ways to treat uh, prostatitis, including changing lifestyle, diet, and exercise. So, uh, see. You Thank you, guys. Thank you. My name is Vincent Suba. Thank you.